Welcome back everybody, Jared Roboski here with CMG Home Loans. Today we're going to discuss where are mortgage rates going. This is episode 2, December 2022. I'm recording this on December 27th, so almost the very end of the year. And we're going to predict where mortgage rates are headed. So the Fed rate, the Fed rate is what the Federal Reserve charges the banks. You'll hear the Fed rate a lot in um, in the news. You'll hear it a lot in daily conversation these days. Never have I seen so many people concerned with what the Fed rate is. And the reason why is because this is the fastest the Fed has ever hiked interest rates. Let's look at this chart. So you can see here this steep curve, steep line up, right? That's the fastest in history. It's faster than here, faster than back here, right? The only thing that comes close to this is in the 80s um, when they were trying to get inflation under control. And it's a similar thing now, right? We have the highest inflation we've had since the 80s, you know, 40-year highs. So they're going to hike the rates really fast to slow down inflation. So far, I do believe it's working. We'll look at some news articles that, that, that do not believe that. One way or another, we're having some demand destruction, and it's bringing some prices down. We've seen oil and gas come down a lot, things like that. So since the last episode, the Federal Reserve hiked the uh, interest rate by 50 basis points. So we went from um, 3.75 to 4% all the way to 4.5 right here, okay? And the target Fed rate, the new dot plot map came out. And the dot plot is a map of the Federal Reserve Board members. It's their prediction to where they think the Fed rate's going to go next year. And basically, most of them came in between five and five and a quarter. Some were 4.75, and some were even as high as 5.75. But we see the majority probably around five and a quarter. Right. So we do believe that the Federal Reserve has about three quarter point rate hikes in store. I would say the next meeting is February and March. Um, I would expect a quarter point rate hike at both of those. We'll have to pay attention to see how fast the CPI is coming down. The latest read was 7.1 percent, and that was really good. It's showing that uh, inflation is headed down. And oil uh, was trading below $80 a barrel the last few weeks, which is really good. Um, when oil prices go down, it, it brings the cost of goods down all goods because all goods are transported by oil, basically. Um, so let's jump right into the news. How much do mortgage rates affect housing demand? There's no doubt that record low mortgage rates has helped fuel the housing boom of 2020 and 2021. Something it was the single most important factor in pushing the residential real estate market into overdrive. I would definitely have to agree. When the mortgage rates are really low, it makes mortgage payments really low. So housing affordability uh, went up a lot when these rates dropped down. And that's why you saw home prices increase so fast is because the, um, the mortgage payment was so much lower that affordability went up. But now that rates have surged higher than they have been in two decades, how will that affect home sales and prices? Mortgage rates have caused refinance activity to effectively stop and home purchase activity to slow, says Mike Frattoni, uh, chief economist for the Mortgage Bankers Association. Not only have sales slowed, but economists expect price declines of anywhere from a few percentage points to more than 20%. Um, I do agree with this. Um, I don't know about more than 20%. I don't agree with that. I think that home prices have already come down 10, 12%. Uh, depending on your market area, you may even see some 15% declines off the highs. So to me, a lot of this has already happened. Um, and as the rates come down, some of these deals will go away. Uh, we might have a little bit more to go. I'm still seeing some negotiating going on. But just know that prices have already come down 10% plus. Um, so do we have another 10% to come down? I'm not sure. I personally won't wait for it. What I'm going to be looking to do is get a house now and then get a 10% discount on that house. Then I'll get a 20% discount off of the highs anyways. 
So that's how I would definitely um, use use this decline and use this fear that we're going to see in the news. Look at this. Uh, will the Federal Reserve rate hikes pull down inflation? Probably not. Research new research shows the prevailing view that rate hikes are uh, causative and in curbing inflation implies a negative correlation between the two variables. Um, or put another way, if the Fed's policy of raising interest rates works, we should see falling inflation in months after rate hikes get announced. It should also work vice versa with inflation rising after rate cuts. Um, I agree with this and I don't agree. So there, there's a little bit now, Federal Reserve rate hikes do not directly lower inflation, but what they do is it puts a pinch on borrowing money. So now borrowing money is more costly. So what does that do? It slows down growth because it's it, it makes a lot of people second guess if they want to grow during a high interest rating environment. So a lot of businesses will contract, they'll pull back. We're seeing a lot of the largest tech companies already do some layoffs and things like that. Um, so what you're seeing is contraction in the market, right? And that contraction alone uh, is demand destruction, right? So there's less demand for products and services, and that uh, that will bring down inflation. So the rate hikes do have an effect on inflation. Now, I personally believe that most of inflation is was caused by the spike in oil prices, and it'll go down with oil as well. So oil is almost 50% off of its highs. Um, so we will see inflation continue to come down in these next few months. And inflation has been coming down. It peaked in the summer at 9.2. The latest read was 7.1. And I believe it will go down just like it went up, which is fast. So over these next few months, I expect inflation to keep coming down. Now, uh, home prices fell for the fourth straight month in October amid Fed rate hikes. Uh, so this is saying home, home prices fell for the fourth straight month as higher interest rates and stubborn inflation dampen the housing market. Uh, this high level of fear is why I believe these next several months, next three to six months, are going to be a really good time to buy. Um, be looking for a deal. Um, I always like to buy when there's deals in the market. Inflation could rise 10% in 2023. Fed rate hikes may make it worse. Now that's Peter Schiff. This is a longtime perma bear. He's a gold bug. He has a gold selling business. So he likes to sell fear so he can sell his gold. Um, I like Peter Schiff. He's a very smart guy, but inflation's not going to go uh, over 10%. Let's get real. It, it, the um, Oil, oil has declined by almost 50%. So if you see oil go back up to 140 bucks a barrel or more, then I could say, okay, uh, this could actually happen. But currently what I'm seeing is prices are coming down all over the place, uh, building materials like wood, lumber, stuff like that. So the cost of building is coming down. Um, my cost of groceries, gas, all that stuff's coming down. So um, I see inflation going very low possibly even negative because remember inflation or CPI is a year over year reading. So um, next summer 2023 versus the peak of this summer 2022, you could actually have a negative inflation number. So that'll be really interesting to watch out for. So let's jump into the charts. Uh, this is the two year treasury. Uh, last time we were talking about we had an incredibly strong uptrend on the two year treasury. But we started to put in maybe a topping signal. Now we've ticked back up. We're even higher than this high here. Um, so we're back in an uptrend. Um, and that's with the recent dot plot going higher. Uh, the previous Fed dot plot had them going up to about 5% Fed funds rate. Now it's five and a quarter. So they added about a quarter percent to their projections. And just like we said last month, we were in a downtrend. We had started putting in a downtrend here, but I said, watch out. We're going to need to see if we do something similar and bounce and end up going higher. And as you can see, we bounced right around this high here, right? So we have bounced and we're back in an uptrend now. Um, I believe we'll make a higher low, meaning that this will top out somewhere below here. Um, probably somewhere around here, maybe 
area is where I'd be looking at this top, this top, and this bottom right there. That to me would look like a, a good place for a higher low. Uh, the Fed is not hiking rates or you know just go aggressive all 2023 with inflation coming down. Um, so I do expect them to hike two to three more times and then pause. Uh, pause is not a pivot though to me. A pivot means rate cuts as far as I'm concerned. But a lot of news will talk about a pivot because um, they'll pause. So let's summarize. Fed rate, there may only be two to three more rate hikes if inflation continues to fall. If inflation rises again, uh, the Fed could continue raising rates. So pay attention to that monthly CPI data. I'll update you. You can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll put out videos on this when it happens. Um, the news, the Fed rate hikes are already having an impact on the economy and housing market. CPI and unemployment data is key. Powell talks about it in every Fed meeting. That's what he's watching. Uh, the charts are telling us that we have some more rate hikes coming in the short term, but long term rates will be lower. And that's why we're seeing that inverted yield curve, uh, the two year and the 10 year are um, inverted, meaning that the 10 year has a lower rate than the two year. So the long term rates are lower than short term rates. So we're expecting rates to come down in the future. Here's my contact information. You can give me a call, send me an email. If you need to apply for a home loan, there's my website. Thank you so much for joining us today. You have a wonderful day and a happy new year if I don't talk to you all before. Thank you.